Hi there, I've just finished um, editing and I'm about to upload my, uh, where is it, <laughs> uh, latest latest blog, so um, it'll be on the website in, in, a, in a short while, I just wanted to sort of run through some of my thoughts, it's um, uh, entitled uh, The Accidental Landlord, so it's about a group of clients that we see quite often. Uh, the average landlord in the UK doesn't own two houses, they own one and a bit. And the reason is lots of landlords get into buy to let. Uh, there's a bit of an afterthought, accidental landlord, um, you know, they're either gifted a property or they ended, ended up with a, a spare property, you know, two people moving together or you know, moved out or whatever. And they go into buy to let um, for um, some good reasons, but also some reasons that aren't sort of fully formed. And there's some things, some some things that, they, that can definitely trip them up. So I, I thought I'd, I'd put in there uh, some advice for accidental landlords. It Towards the end, um, well actually kind of towards the, <laughs> towards the middle, it starts to bleed into advice in general uh, for most landlords. The kind of, you know, most landlords don't own enough properties. It's a, it's a blunt fact, but uh, that, that's, that's my belief. And um, I think you know, it's got Two, two meanings there, you know, most landlords don't own two properties and I don't think that that is enough. And I don't mean in a greed is good way, but if this is a good thing to do, and I believe it's a good thing to do, then then more is better. But what I actually mean is most landlords don't own, in, no, own enough to align with what their goals are. So um, we, forthelandlords.com, are very um, keen, um, we, we always try to, we, we, it, it, it's our mission, uh, to build a buy-to-let business plan for our landlords, if you want to put it that way, to say, you know, what is it that you want to achieve? What are you trying to achieve? Where, where, you, where are you going with this? All, all sorts of questions we put in there. And when I say landlords don't own enough properties, when you ask a landlord, what do you want? And I'm, I'm, I'm doing this with my hands because we put it in an orbit, you know, and, and it's actually around this side of things is that what do you want? And then on the other side is it, this is how we're going to get there. Landlords don't own enough properties because what they want will never be achieved by only owning a handful of properties. So um, accidental landlords are common. It happens a lot. Uh, landlords who have only got a few houses is, is, you know, if you put those two groups together, it's most landlords. So put getting those landlords together, right in this kind of blog, um, the, the aim is to outline some of the pitfalls and the obvious stuff, but then to start to talk about building a buy-to-let business plan and matching your dreams, your ambitions, your this is what I want, your why, to how we're going to achieve that. We, I, the team, for the landlords.com will work together with landlords to uh, produce a business plan that actually will get you to the place where it needs to get. Uh, so it's for landlords who uh, to, to, to want, 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 want to scale. Um, if I believe that buy-to-let is the best wealth creation strategy on planet Earth. That's my personal belief and it's unshakable. I'm all in on property. Um, it's also totally true that if you get it wrong, it can become a nightmare that never ends and something you wish you'd never got into. I'm trying to avoid that for some people. Um, it's quite easy both ways. You know, you, 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 you've, got a, you've got a choice. You've got a fork in the road, do things right or not. And uh, not doing things right quite often isn't an active choice. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's the corners you're trying to cut. Sometimes it's just you don't know what you're uh, what you're what what you're trying to achieve, and um, yeah, you, you don't know what you don't know. And all of a sudden, yeah, you find yourself uh, two years, three years down the line, you own a house, and it's not really working how you out how you wanted. Actually, it could be causing you a lot of hassle. So um, I think that any landlord needs help. Um, in three things, and uh, I'll briefly run through them and then yeah, hand you over. Um, I think you need a, a competent, a more than competent letting agent, a de very, very decent team to be able to delegate. They need to focus on what you want as a landlord. We're called ForTheLandlords.com because guess what? We're for the landlords. I am the, I, I, I always avoid saying the number one customer. I'm the biggest customer of ForTheLandlords.com. I think that's quite a nice thing for are all our other landlords to know I trust this team I need this team it's for the landlords to start off with when we first built the business it was for one landlord it was for me and I struggled to find a team that I could delegate everything that I want in a team you know, for a landlord uh, and I had to build the business it was as simple as that so you need that team uh, their focus needs to be making you happy you as a landlord and that's a quite a woolly statement, but actually how do you make a landlord happy? It's quite easy. You have a relentless focus on making the landlord more money, reducing their hassle and giving them all their time back. And if any of the things you're doing aren't focused on those, then you focus on the wrong things. So 
you need help, three things. The first one is getting that team that are on your side. Uh, the second one is working with a, a, a wider team. This planning, the business plan, you know, for the landlords.com, create you a, um, a, a buy to let business plan. It sits on your desk, you know, we'll, we'll help you create it. There's lots of it that sits with you, you know, mortgages. We can introduce you to a mortgage broker, but you're going to have to choose it, sign on the dotted line, and, and you know, manage, manage mortgages, finance payments. Oh, there's lots of things that sit on your. I can't tell a landlord what it is you want out of buy to let. Do you want more holidays, more free time, or you know whatever it is you want? There's loads of things in the business plan that sit with the landlord, but those time, hassle, money that sits with us, and we 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 help you talk about the whole business plan and deliver our part of it. So that's the second thing I I think need landlords need help with. And then the third thing is kind of a separate thing, but it's growth. You know, building a property portfolio is a lot harder than it looks, and it takes up a lot of time. Personally, I haven't got time to do it. I, I try and buy two properties a month and I use fortheLandlords.com's handhold service to do that. And yeah, I couldn't do it any other way. So yeah, I've gone through uh, quite a few things. Hopefully uh, in um, it's all there, ready to upload now. I'll get it up there. I, I, I think it's a, it's a good grounding for any accidental landlord and it starts to then go into, you know, a conversation with what is the majority of landlords with a handful of properties of how you can scale up, be more serious, make sure you do things right, Get the help you need. Let's face it, being a landlord is quite a lonely business. If you are all by yourself, sort of you know, bumping into the dark and you, you bump into a problem, how do I fix that? You know, did you even notice you bumped into the problem sometimes? You know, you, you, you're collecting these things that know. Let's have a initial conversation, a monthly conversation if it needs it, and at the very, very least, yeah, an, an annual review of your business plan. That's what we, we ensure we do with, with all of our landlords um, to make sure that you have a plan and you're measuring it and delivering on it. So there we go. Uh, if you uh, want for the landlords.com to manage existing properties, there's a list of the areas where we manage. There's a there's a um, uh, a, a map on the uh, on the website but broadly speaking it's you know, anything up to about Leeds anything east and west coast of, of, of England as opposed to if we don't go into Wales and uh, but yeah Manchester Liverpool Leeds uh, we've got nor North East and, 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 and as well Hull Scunthorpe Grimsby Nottingham Derby got uh, Leicestershire in there as well so we we, we cover a bit a big swathe of the country and we're a letting agency for serious landlords uh, we can manage all properties in all all those locations from one central contact you've got one point of call so it's a great service for serious landlords who want to scale and perhaps have already got properties in multiple locations as well so there's a link in the video it will take you to the blog with more information there'll be a link in there that also takes you to the website for more information on what we call rent revolution that's the first step in creating your buy to let business plan so uh, yeah there's our offer to you hope you enjoy the blog i'll get it uploaded now and uh, put comments in the bottom of the video if you've got any all right speak to you soon bye now